Well, congregation, let me invite us this morning to open in our Bible to the little letter, little book of Philemon. Uh, the roadmap in our scripture for finding that is if you find the larger book of Hebrews, just turn left one book and you'll find Philemon. Uh, when we're done reading Philemon, don't turn your Bible closed yet. Keep it open rather the whole time. But we'll also read from Colossians 4, as I mentioned a moment ago. Now, we're going to return uh, very shortly in God's providence, if it is his will, to our study of the book of Mark. So you might want to catch up on your reading there, chapters 1 through 6 and the beginning of 7 we've already covered. So you might want to just uh, remind yourself in the next week or so of, of what we have been through there in Mark. But we want to see what God's will is in terms of a significant issue that the church always faces. And we find that for us here in the book of Philemon. So let's read and listen to God's word together. Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our dear friend and fellow worker, to Aphia, our sister, to Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church that meets in your home, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I always thank my God as I remember you in my prayers because I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints. I pray that you may be active in sharing your faith so that you will have a full understanding of every good thing we have in Christ. Your love has given me great joy and encouragement because you, brother, have refreshed the hearts of the saints. 